Hey guys, it's Obstan. Today, welcome to my Team of the Year training guide, and this is part one. If you guys want to see part two of this, let's not get 150 likes on this video, and I will bring it to you guys so 150 likes for part two on my Team of the Year training guide. Also, if you guys are watching this and are not already subscribed, I do recommend you guys go and do so. I do daily fee 15 training tips and also series, such as trading 200k and also trading few, and just everything to do with trading in general. So, hopefully, you've hit that subscription button right now, and hopefully, you're not regret it and also just want to say a quick thank you like a massive thank you we hit 10,000 subscribers yesterday and it's absolutely amazing we got really far on this channel and I just want to say thanks to you guys I will be making a special video for it but it's quite cold to do at the moment so I'm gonna let it warm up and I will bring it to you guys because it's something to do with something outside so just hold on for that and I will bring it to you guys quite soon so I have decided to bring this to you guys because a lot of you guys have been asking for Harp Star what can I do with this amount what can I do with this amount because I've gained a hell of a lot of new subscribers in the past few days and they haven't really seen my previous videos so I thought it'd be a good idea just to make a few videos to round up all my team year methods so you guys are already going into it. So the first one I'm going to show you guys is pretty simple and it's to do with chemistry styles. Now chemistry styles are absolutely incredible to do at Team Year because basically the thing is uh, people open packs and they pack chemistry styles. So that basically means there will be a load more chemistry styles on the market than usual. So just try to imagine how many packs there will be packs at Team Year and then you will realise that there will be a load more chemistry styles on the market and this basically means there will be over demand and there won't be enough people to buy the chemistry styles and people will keep listing their chemistry styles for lower and lower and lower so there's a salon so chemistry styles such as hunter Cassis and shadow will be really 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 cheap so what you should do is you should pick up the hunter chemistry style for whatever price it might be at team of the year and then wait a few weeks and the price of chemistry styles after team of the year will steadily start to go up because people need chemistry styles in their team to improve their strikers improve the defenders etc etc so an easy thing to do at team of the year is invest in chemistry styles wait for them to go up in price after team year and sell them on for easy profit it's so simple so the next method i've got for you guys is to invest in the team of the week at team year this is because a load of packs will be opened a load and um, so obviously informs are easier to pack than team the seasons i think i'm pretty sure that is so basically players like let's say for example um, alexis sanchez gets a team of the week at team year you, you never know it might happen so he might get a second inform card so basically what will happen is there'll be more informed sandwiches on the market than normal. And the same concept applies, there'll be over demand, which means people won't be buying the sandwiches because there'll be so many in the market. And this basically means that people will keep listing him for lower and lower and lower. So what you guys should do is you should basically buy him when he's really low. And I guarantee you after team of the year, his price is going to skyrocket. Because if, let's say for example is Alexis Sanchez, everyone really wants to play with him because he's a great player. So you buy for low, wait until team of the year, wait for the price to basically go up and you sell him on. And you could do that for all the team of the week. Obviously, it's going to be more safe if you buy players in the discard value. But if you like to take a bat like a gamble, buy players who are going for 100k. Because you guys make the most profit rather than someone buying them for discard value. So the next method I've got for you guys is to do a squad fitness card. So if I go over to basically fitness right here, and once again, the same concept applies. Swap so fitness cards are so easy to pack in packs. So just imagine how many will be packed at team year. So once again, there will be over demand and massive over demand as people won't be buying the squad fitness cards as there'll be too many. This will put the price down and they will be super, super, super cheap. And what you guys need to do is buy them for, I don't know how much they might go for, 300 coins, 200 coins. Then just wait a few weeks and basically go and sell them on. And the thing about squad fitness cards is they will always go up in price, always. Because people, people need to basically actually go and get their squads and fitness. Because some people can't be bothered to make two squads and rotate them. They just want to buy squad fitness cards. So it's a perfect opportunity for you, especially if you have like 40k and want to get up to about 100k. Invest all of them into squad fitness cards, buy them for cheap, and just wait after team year and they will all go up in price. Because there are some people, as I said, who can't bother to rotate squads. So therefore, fitness squads are always needed in ultimate team as people want to keep their squads up to 100% fitness. So that's that's a very easy thing to do. Buy them and just sell them on in a few weeks' time after team of the week because their price will skyrocket up. 
to what they probably are at the moment, which is about 70 coins. So it's definitely a good way to make some profit. So the next method I've got for you guys is pretty much going to be a non-risk method, and it is the gold rare 150 coin method. It works at the moment because you can actually win some of these coins for under discard value or what they are normally worth. But you can see here there are already quite a few on the market going down to the last 30 seconds. There were some going down to 10 seconds earlier. So just imagine a team here when they're going to be triple quadruple the amount of these cards on the market because loads of packs will be open just imagine how many you'll be able to buy for cheap prices and uh, last year i was able to make well able to win a lot for 150 coins and um, if you want to win a few more i would probably recommend bidding just under discard value so 550 coins 600 coins but as as long as you actually go and bid under discard value and for 75 rated the discard value is 600 coins and the higher the rating the higher discard value after that so if you win them all for 550 coins it's a guaranteed profit at least for 50 coins if it's 75 rated and if you buy one 75 rated for 600 coins you are guaranteed to not make a loss because you can discard it for 600 coins so that's a no risk method and it's a really good method and it works really good now but it's going to be absolutely amazing at team year so just bid 150 coins or maybe like 400 300 coins on some and so either you can wait for the price to go back up or you can just go as quick sell them for instant profit. It's your choice. So the final method I've got for you guys is the gold rare 650 coin bidding method. So easy to use and once again it's pretty much no risk. So quality gold, 600 min, 650 coin max and you want to go through the chemistry style. So for example sniper. And you want to put bids on these players. So Markovic, you know, Mandzukic for 650 coins, Schneider. Um, at the moment, it's quite hard to actually go and win them for under, under 600 coins. But listen to me, listen me out, right? So you could say right now, this is not a non-risk method, but... Right, okay, you might be buying for 650 coins, but also take the value of the chemistry style. Like, for example, um, Hawk could be an amazing one, for example. Hawk goes to about 1k. This got value for, for example, this guy right here, Ramos, might be 650 coins or somewhere near that. So that's a value of about 1.3, 1.4k. And you're, bidding, you're buying for 650 coins. Just imagine how much you can sell them on for. It is pretty much non-risk method. And the great thing at Team Near is you will find a lot of players going for discard value so for example you will be able to bid 600 coins on players such as the Santa, Solana and Baka and you will win them for that amount because there'll be so many more in the market and people just won't be able to well there won't be enough people to buy them basically so you'll be able to get a lot a lot of profit when you use this method so pretty simple gold what 650 um 600 you can also put this a bit higher if you'd like go through the camera styles Bid 600 or higher at team of the year, but I think you'll be able to win quite a lot for 600. And uh, basically, because normal gold cards scored for 600 coins and Cambridge Stars go for at least 200 coins, you are pretty much guaranteed to make a profit if you win for 600 and 650 coins. And also look out for the big three. If you can win some in Hunter, Cassus, and Shadow, then you'll be in for the money. You know, they're the big three, but it's hard to actually win deals in those chemistry styles. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Remember to get 150 likes for part two of the Team Year Training Guide. And uh, if you want any advice, leave in the comments below. Drop a like, subscribe to Harps HD, and once again, thank you for 10k. And I will see you guys in the next video. Yep, see you guys.